So it's really important that while you're training that what you're really using is you're using tons of little bitty treats like cut up pieces of mozzarella cheese or cut up little pieces of hot dog and they can be teeny tiny pieces. These are, uh, the more smelly the better because that, that definitely drives them. So this is a really good brand, this Zook's uh, Mini Naturals and it's salmon formula and oh my goodness it really smells. Um, and these are really good for training, for teaching to sit, for everything you're going to teach, down, for everything you're going to teach. And you always want to have a command and a body. Hey, hey, hey. Now, here's off. a good example. Off. And do you see how that off is down? It's not like the stay command where she had it up like a stop sign. She has a, notice her hand is flat down. and down. So, the thing is, whatever hand signals you give um, to Autumn, they, they, um, or, or just as long as you're consistent. So the fact that we use a finger to say sit, to visually sit, isn't, doesn't, everybody doesn't use that. It's just whatever you train them to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to train a dog to stay off. And, and another one to train in the future is leave it. Very, very important. And we'll, we'll show that too It can next. save their life. But off is a really good one. And what you do is you fill your hands with treats and you put your hand um, you put it right in front of their nose, and normally they'll just work and work, work, work to get it. In a fist. Off. And eventually they'll stop. And did you notice she did stop? And that good girl, good off. Off. Good job. And then you reward good them. Good job. Good job, off. Good job. Good job, Emma. Now okay, try one more and then try it again. Off. Off. Good off. Good off. And? Good job. Good off. Again, lots so, of praise. Lots of praise. But what you're teaching them is not to go after your hand. Off. Not, it's to learn to learn the off command. Good, Good job. Girl. Good job.